For many children, a doll is more than just a toy. It can become a friend and confidant. But these dolls have taken on a life of their own. They're said to be haunted by real-life spirits which have attached themselves to the host toys. And while most would tend to avoid a possessed plaything, some are avid collectors of them. Katrin Riedick from Glasgow has been collecting haunted dolls since 2008. Uh, right now I have 13 of haunted dolls and um, four of them are most active, especially in night time. I can see them, I can hear them and I, I actually have a small boy telling mummy, can you play with me? I have it on video and audio. The 34-year-old first experienced her creepy companions in her homeland of Estonia. I saw a ghost in my previous house. I lived in Estonia and we had a ghost girl over there. And if I moved here, I started to search information about the girl and I didn't notice anything. And then just pop up window with the haunted dolls and then it started. And I purchased my first doll and it was 103 years old woman. But some of those in her collection are prone to mischievous behaviour. I have two that I've noticed, Ashley, and when I'm over in my bedroom, they just turn their dolls. We can see shadow people. They're like um, switching my lights on and off, TV switches channels and uh, taps. And she says each doll has its own story. This one is my only boy doll. His name is Michael and he's eight months old. He was killed and I caught by his mother. And he's my special one. He turns my taps on. This one is Heather and this one is Gretchen. They just walk around here and wondering. Usually I can hear Heather just singing, just tiny, tiny singing, but you can hear it. So, is it all just child's play or could there be a real-life Chucky out there among us?